With the PSVR 2 right around the corner, it's about time for our old trusty buddy, the PSVR, to hang up the cleats. But before it does, here are five games you need to play on the PSVR before it kicks the bucket. First up, we have Res Infinite, and I'll admit I have already played this for the last time here on the PSVR, and it is lively. It's better than I actually remembered it being. There is a deeper meaning with Res Infinite. It has amazing VR immersion. Area X is the lifeblood of virtual reality. It takes you to a world you could only dream of, and with the inclusion of catchy tunes, fun enemies, and creative environments. It's one of those games that you must play before it's gone forever. Res Infinite was the game that brought me into the world of PSVR, and it's going to be the game that takes me out of it. The next game is Rush of Blood. Now this is the actual last game I want to play on the PSVR because the very first game I'm going to play on PSVR 2 is Switchback VR, which I assume will be a spiritual successor to Rush of Blood. I hope the two games are linked, but even if they're not, it will help me appreciate the new innovation and technology with the PSVR 2. Russia Blood. This game is a hoot to begin with. The scares, the environments, the shooting gameplay, the game flow never gets old. At a short couple hours of playtime, it's an easy pick up and play. To think this was one of the very first games for the PSVR in 2016 is incredible given how well it holds up. Russia Blood is a delightful way to end the PSVR's life cycle. Table of Tales. I love this game as it portrays almost as a virtual board game where you move your pieces, take action upon the enemies, and involves a decent amount of strategy. The immersion aspect is actually really well done for a game like this. The storyline weaves between characters and scenes extremely well, and Table of Tales provides a unique experience in PSVR that very few, if any, other games can provide. Just In Time Incorporated. Now this game is a masterclass on creativity and fun. It is the prime example of how clever game design trumps graphics and high-end specs. Bounce from scenario to scenario to test your wit, critical thinking, and skills to avoid bombs being blasted, people being gunned down, and way more chaos. There is a very healthy amount of content, but you can also play this in increments if you want. Each level is so clever and fun, it is the perfect game to pick up and play. It is also one of the very few PSVR games that made me literally laugh out loud the first time I played it. It is a classic and will be leaving you laughing and begging for more. The worst thing about it, really, is that it's not coming to PSVR 2. And finally, we have Doom VFR. So easily, the biggest loss with the addition of the PSVR 2 will be the aim controller, bar none the best peripheral or accessory that I have ever used in my entire life. I would be ashamed if I didn't include a game that utilized this masterpiece. We do have options, but I chose Doom VFR because I feel the speed of the gameplay, the use of the aim controller, the addition of collectibles, additional levels, and easter eggs make Doom VFR an absolute gem. If you know what you're doing, you could speed run this bad boy in about two hours if you hustle. It's so incredibly fun, relatively short amount of gameplay, and resembles the best of what the PSVR and aim controller marriage has to offer. So now we have some honorable mentions. The first I want to cover is Stifled. Now, I do love this game. The use of echolocation. The stealth horror elements harmonize perfectly with the mysterious plot. A game that I 100% think you should play. But it is several hours. You do need to invest the time. And you need to be in the right mindset to play this game. And if you've already played it... I can't recommend you going back and playing it again with the limited time that we have left with our headset. 
Static, and I have a very strong case to say that Static is the best puzzle game on the PSVR. The cleverness of the puzzles, the storyline, the unique portrayal is everything you want in a puzzle game. It is a 100% must play, but it will take you time. And if you've already played it, it's best to consider something faster, something that's less intensive than this puzzle game. Farpoint. Now, if you switch Doom VFR with Farpoint in my list, I honestly wouldn't be that mad. I personally have more fun in Doom VFR, but Farpoint provides additional battle styles, multiplayer, and the use of sniping in gameplay using the aim controller. Now, I've played Farpoint. I don't really want to play it again unless I have buddies on board for a multiplayer session, so take it or leave it. Farpoint is good, but I'm okay with skipping it for Doom VFR. And finally, we have Battlezone. I have to admit, if Battlezone could and is better compatible with PS5 and DualSense, it would be on my list without a doubt. This game has brought me more laughs, more enjoyment, and more memories than any other game on this list. I want to thank you for watching. I know there are tons of other options, and that's why I want you to comment what are on your final list of games to play before the PSVR 2 arrives.